Hello guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Klax and in this video I'm gonna answer to one of you question and that is how we can be able to transform the crowns on CRT. Here we go, in this video I'm gonna show you how that is possible but also guys we're gonna jump a bit on arena and we're gonna have fun on arena royal with one rent nft first of all guys i'm going to show you how you can be able to transform crowns on crt but before i jumping on this if you appreciate my hard work guys to making this video please smash that like button and also if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to press the notification bell because just like this you can be notified every single time when i'm posting a new video and believe me very soon is going to come in more interesting video about cantina royale but not just by the way not long time ago guys i post a video where i presenting top three games on multiverse x but not just because all these games guys actually are multi-chain games on this moment where cantina real is not included cantina real is not included guys because like you see i playing almost every week cantina real and i show you this game already okay so let's jumping in and let me show you exactly how you can be able to transform your crowns on crt first of all we're gonna have to open our browser and here we're gonna looking for verco.ai okay we're coming on these three lines we're going apps here we're gonna have to log in i'm not a robot okay let's log in perfect once when i log in guys i'm coming in my account all right so you see here is my account it's showing me my balance and i have two options import or withdraw I'm going to press withdraw here. I'm going to choose the address where I would like to send my CRT. Okay. I'm going to add here the address and after down here, guys, I'm going to choose how many CRT I would like to withdraw. If I want to withdraw all, I'm going to press max. And this is what I'm going to do. After that, guys, you are going to be able to send it by pressing set. Obviously, I'm not going to do this now because I don't want to send all my crowns away, but this is the way how you can be able to do it. Very simple, guys. Uh, here you found everything what you have to know about your characters, how many characters you have, if it's them landing or no, my asset, if you have any NFTs, if you have any SFT, and also if you're coming on setting, guys, you can be able here to change your profile picture and also you can be able to link your wallet, okay? You can link your ledger wallet, you can link your exporter wallet, you can link almost any wallet what is related with Multiverse X ecosystem, right? For now, probably in the future you can be able to, to link any type of wallet. But for now, what I know personal, you can be able to link just your wallet with Multiverse X ecosystem. Okay, and that's all. Here you change your avatar, guys, and yeah, that's all. All right, let's jumping back in the game. And here, like I said, guys, I'm going to pretend i'm a new player here and i don't have an nft right so let me do all these claims and i come in inventory hire a premium characters and here i'm gonna hire one premium right i'm gonna pay 200 crowns and i have these characters level 10 all right let's select it let's go very quick on the character to see what type of talents this character has got so it's got these weapons okay good so from this reason we're gonna using our boomstick what in this moment i have it in four star level six probably i'm gonna do it later on uh, level seven but by the way guys because i'm here let me tell you very quick the upgrade so with my weapons my nfts are in same level guys i don't make any any levels up uh, with this i don't change it in the boomstick i have this four star level six i'm not gonna spend now any money rally gun i got five stars here i got four stars in the mortal gun and here i don't really invest much because for now i don't need these two weapons so my focus on this moment is in rally gun and in the boomstick okay but what i'm gonna do guys now i'm waiting to make more money to be able to come in here guys and to try purchase one of these 10 weapons because like this i can be able after to upgrade my rest of the weapons right so i want to share this with you where i am i don't really perform in the last in the last weeks too much because i don't really have time to play cantina royale too much guys but that is the strategy and that is the plan i'm going to save my money to be able to upgrade my 
weapons because like I present to you before guys my main strategy in this game in this moment in Cantina Royale 2.0 is to upgrade my weapons because I believe with one strong weapon you can play with any type of NFT and you can be able to produce lots of damage if you have very high powerful weapon so from that reason my focus is on the weapon and to try make level up my weapons faster i can and to make it level maximum obviously all right we starting this game it's looking like the opponents are a bit better than us by level and yeah let's see what we can do we have a very interesting players so let's see what is gonna happen on this game guys it's very interesting Whoa, I don't make two moves and it's managed to kill me. I know Relu weapon is very strong. Wow, I don't expect that. Two Kingdom are a lot stronger than us. So better is just to stay around to don't try to fight with them anymore. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Gonna try produce their damage. But my op opponent is running. Stole my kill, stole my kill. Doesn't matter guys, doesn't matter. We're gonna try to win. Well done Jack. Don't take you. To run, to reload at least my shield. Ooh, Relu, Relu, Relu. Well done, man. In this game, it's two very good players, Relu and this X. I guess I pronounce very good damn names. But I know X is one of the players who fighting every season for top 5. So yeah, him is very good player. He's playing a lot and spending lots of time on Cantina Real JJ. Guys, let me know in the comment. I have an idea a few days ago, and I will, I, I like, I will like to share this with you. Let me know what do you think about my idea. Yeah, how is gonna be if I gonna invite in a podcast every week the winner of the season on Cantina Royale? You're gonna be interesting to see how hard that that player is played the game how long how many hours what is take basically to be the winner of one season on cantina royale and also the recompense the rewards if it's worth it how much money you can be able to win if you win one season on cantina royale so please let me know in the comments guys if you want to know all this information and if you gonna want to see that information guys i'm gonna try to contact the the winner of the season and yeah we'll see if the winner is gonna want to participate one kind of podcast why not guys i'm more than happy to to share all that information with you because to be honest i'm very curious i mean i have three nfts guys and i try to play almost every day with all three that is 15 games right my average is around from 15 games eight nine winnings yeah sometimes i win eight sometimes i win nine obviously sometimes i win more sometimes i lost more but it depends but the average is between eight and nine all right but i found it very hard to even to go in top 100 with three nfts i don't know if that is really really interesting things because in one point to be honest with you is can lose the interest of the players I will say it, I don't know. Because it's people like me, for example, who don't really have time to stay all day playing Cantina Royale. But when I'm playing one, two hours per day, at least in top 100, I mean, I used to do that in Axe Infinity and I don't play same more than two hours per, per day, right? Even less than that. Anyway, it's looking like we are very close to win, but the game is still tough. I have to try to don... Whoa, I make the last kill. Bam, bam, bam. 
Good, good victory. Nice victory, JJ guys. JJ X, you smash it again, boy. Nice game, guys. Nice game. Guys, this has been the video for today. I don't want to make it longer because, to be honest with you, I'm waiting the the next update on Cantina Royale. What is going to be Cantina Royale 2.1? And I cannot wait that update to to happen because I see some updates about it. I see them. I see this article about it, and it's gonna be interesting. So I'm very curious when this is gonna be launched. I'm waiting for it. When this is gonna be launched, probably I'm gonna come in with another video about all these new updates on Cantina Royale 2.1. So until that time guys, I wish you all the best. If you like this video, you know what you have to do. Smash that like button. Also, if you want to support the community, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also to press the notification bell because just like this, you can be notified every single time when I'm posting a new video. And believe me guys, very recent is going to coming more interesting videos about play to earn and Cantina Royale and many more games. So with this being saying, thank you very much again to all of you who stay with me until this point. Until next time, I wish you all the best.